this is George. Uh, I'm on a hill, so you might be wondering what, what you're looking at here. This is a hill. I'm just making the angle this way because the, uh, the lighting seems to be better this way. So I just want to take a few minutes to talk with you about, uh, to, uh, to answer the question, uh, should we have uh, contracts that we sign with our clients? I have been doing group coaching full-time for seven years, and the past two years I've been, I've been intensively doing one-to-one -one coaching. Um, and in all this time, I haven't made my clients sign anything. Now, I have to also say that I'm not a lawyer. Uh, I'm not giving you legal advice. This is just my own experience. I'm sharing my own experience, and you gotta do your own due diligence and make your own business decisions. But I'm just saying that somehow, uh, and I'll tell you, in my business partnerships, whenever I've had to sign a contract, it's often not worked out. Um, the, pe the people I signed it with, they're really protective, they're really calculating or something. I mean, that's not all true. I have some great business partners that make me sign contracts, but, but many of them do don't, don't work out. And, and yet, I've had lots of business partnerships and client relationships that have worked out wonderfully without signing a single contract or agreement. My take on contracts is that Nobody likes to be held to some complicated uh, document that they signed, you know, sometimes months or years ago, and then suddenly it comes back to bite them because they didn't remember point eleven point seven five of this document that they signed. It's silly. It's not human, you know. In my opinion, again, not my legal <laughs> advice, but this is my opinion, and so I haven't done that in my business. And you decide whether you want to do in yours. But the main point I think is that. Whatever behavior you want your clients to do, they need continual reminders. You cannot expect them to have signed an agreement uh, when they first started working with you and remember every point that they, they memorized that agreement. No, that's silly. We all sign contracts and agreements every day without, many of us don't read, I mean, software. When you, when you buy a piece of software, they have this long terms and who really reads those things? And also the contracts you sign at doctor's offices, they expect you to quickly sign it, right? I mean, many, many, many people don't read it. Uh, I know maybe you say we should, but it's not, when it comes to your own business, our own business, we get to make that decision. Personally, I don't feel it's human. Uh, and so people, humans need constant reminders, whatever good behavior that you're expecting of them. So it's, it's your responsibility as a business owner to, to make those reminders available so that they do, your clients do behave in the way that you want them to. So for example, to make your clients show up on time, I, to make my clients show up on time, I have an automated scheduling reminder. I use the software called Acuity Scheduling. I have been using it for several months now. I love it. Uh, I recommended it to everyone. It's ten dollars a month. I think it's quite affordable, and um, it sends automated remind email reminders to my clients. You know, whatever I want to set it. You know, th th three three days, five days in advance, and twenty four hours, then one hour. It's just all automated so that they they show up on time. Uh, they don't forget the appointment, uh, or they need to reschedule. If they get the first reminder at five days or three days, uh, you could put a, a note in there to say, "Oh, if you, if you need to reschedule, please reschedule ASAP. I need reschedulings done within 48 hours." Something like that. So, human beings need reminders. Try to automate those reminders if you can, or put a checklist to yourself to remind your clients of how you want the session to go. You know, uh, say it at the beginning of the session. So that's all I want to say today. I'll put more ideas and suggestions underneath the video in the notes as I always do attached to this video. And until the next video, I wish you um, a more human uh, business, um, a more compassionate and human business, and I wish you well.